Hello, hi, this is Monty Hipsch, the Google Guru, and today I want to show you a very powerful and interesting tool that's 100% free that you can actually use to analyze your own website to ensure that your call to actions and the things that you want visitors to do to your website gets done. It's called browsersize.googlelabs.com. And Google has put this information together to show that in ver der different and various different screen rev resolutions and monitor sizes, laptops and desktops, what does your site look like and how many people can view the call to actions that you have on your site. Google's got a default here and it shows that in this site, which was um, used to collect donations, that the Donate Now button could only be seen by 70% of the browsers, but 30% of the people would never see this site, never see this button, because they were in one of these other resolutions. And it wasn't until, because the button was so far down, uh, it, only 70% of the browser sizes on the internet looking at the site could see the call to action. Very critical point. Now, you can actually put your own web address up in here and see how this overlays on your own website. But for an example, let me just go to Google and show you something that's quite interesting. Now, this is the actual Google site. And you can see that the uh, search bar is here. You can, by the way, change the opacity of this by clicking up here. But uh, we'll leave it here. So I'm going to put in my usual one, Florist Brisbane. And what I wanted to show you was, I'm going to add a little darkness to this, was that these are all sponsored links in Google. And these are sponsored links. And as you can see, easily 90% of the people can see all this information. This is the uh, Google Places data here. And you can see when it gets down here to the bottom that um, we've got, uh, make it a bit darker, We've got 70% uh, of the people can see all the sponsored ads and the places maps, but 30% of the people can't see that. And the stuff down here, the search engine optimized data, they, it, it's not even showing up on, on half of the screens that are out there. So your SEO activities to get here are, are marginal at best unless people scroll. Um, so very important that you look at your site and you make sure your call to action is up in this 80, 90, 95% place and that the button you want them to click on or fill out is here. Let's pick one of these. I can then click on Flowers by Jane and her website comes up here and you can see this is not a bad effort because you can see, I'll turn this off for a second, you can see that the purchase and the shopping information and all the navigation and the security and the payment methods that they take all show to easily 90, 80 to 90 percent of the people and the purchase button is right there. So if that's her call to action then this is not a bad little site. I'd like you to consider doing that. Put in your own website up here. If I use my Aussie Web Local Search as an exam example, um, you'll see that our call to actions, add your free listing is up here. Our what and where search is all up here. So we're 89, 90% of people can see the things that we want them to do. Put your site in here and make sure that the things that you want people to do aren't way down here where they have to scroll off the screen and that you've included them above the line. It's here at browsersize.googlelabs.com. Please look at your site in this free tool. Make sure that your call to actions are where the eye can see it, the browser can see it, the, web, the, the uh, screen on your computer can see it. Make sure that it's up here. Thanks for your time.